Hello. When you're doing um, the spreadsheets, these in Chapter 8, these three are Excel spreadsheets. So when you open it, you click on it. And then if it doesn't automatically open, you open it down here. And then you enable editing. Then you type your sample size. So I don't know, say it was 100. And maybe my mean is 25. What a standard deviation of 2.3. And then since my sample size is large, it would be a Z confidence interval. So maybe 0.1. And then it gives your values here. If it's a t-distribution, 0.1, and gives them here. Here's your margin of error and your lower and upper. And then if I try one of the other ones, um, let me go down to 8. The point estimate one. Okay, so for this one, I'll click on this to open it. Then, if it doesn't open automatically, you can use the little arrow here. And then you um, type in, whoops, enable editing. Then depending on what you're given, you type it in here. If it was 50, sample size 120, confidence level, 0.9 and it gives your margin of error <clears throat> your lower and upper and so you were just typing in here this one was for proportions And the last one, well, went too far. Is sample size. For this one, again, enable editing. And then um, you can do your sample size here. Or here, this one's used if you are given the standard deviation. This one is used if you're not given the standard deviation. You just put, if it's a margin of error of know, 2 and a confidence level of 0.9, and then it will tell you um, your Z value and your sample size. Now, because of my numbers, that's what the sample size was. But um, if you're given a margin of error, then you plug it in here.